fall asleep with Nidra. In Sanskrit, Nidra means dream. In this guided meditation, we will be looking at falling into a deep, restorative, tranquil, healing sleep using elements of Nidra. Spoken by myself, Lauren. In a Yoga Nidra meditation, consciousness and awareness flows from outside to inside, our consciousness to outside to inside. So we focus beyond ourselves and then we bring our focus back to our inner self, back out to the elements and the universe and then turning back within again. We do this in order to relax the mind, calm the mind and draw the mind down into deep restorative sleep. This practice tends to stabilize the consciousness and peel away any distraction or noise in the mind. It's also a useful practice for teaching the mind to focus, which is incredibly calming. There are often hidden solutions to our problems, to our conflicts, to our frustrations. Hidden solutions which lie in the deep recesses of our subconscious and our collective unconscious. By practicing a Nidra Yoga meditation regularly, and I would suggest several times per week, We can take our consciousness to the border between alpha and theta waves and our mind becomes more receptive to offering us the solution to our problems. There is so much potential lying dormant in our deep, mindful self. Let's reach out and awaken ourselves, reach enlightenment and find peace and sleep. This meditation can of course be done sitting in a chair or lying down on a yoga mat, which is also lovely. But today this is designed for your sleep. So I suggest that you make yourself comfortable in your bed, prepare yourself for sleep and do what you need to do in order to be ready for sleep, such as brushing your teeth, your hair, making your lunch for the next day, turning all the lights off and have intention, have a clear, unadulterated intention that this is the time for not only sleep, not only sleep but for you this is your time because you have immense infinite value when you're ready we will begin sit down or lie down comfortably and we will begin bring your focus Bring your consciousness, bring your mind to the world outside you, the world beyond you, the external universe. Listen to the sounds around you, in your room, beyond your room, outside. Listen to the sounds 
and focus upon one sound at a time. Take in the tonality of that sound, the character, the texture of that sound, and then move to the next sound and the next sound and the next sound. Take your time doing this. Take all your consciousness, train your thought upon sounds around you. Take some time to explore this process. So listen to the white noise around you. There is always, always white noise. Perhaps there is a car running outside the house or a heater, air conditioner, fan. Sometimes there are vibrations through the floor of the traffic. Listen to the white noise. Listen to the birds. Perhaps there are other animals like dogs, perhaps a cat. Explore and be with each of these sounds. Using the practice of listening to take you, you out of you, to take you beyond so you are almost flying outside of your body. If you find your mind pulling away from this practice of listening and going back to any conflicts or issues you're experiencing, so gently, so gently take the hand of your consciousness and draw it back to the practice of listening. Sometimes when our minds are really busy and perhaps they're struggling a little bit with pain or suffering, it is more challenging to point the mind away. This process requires love. Understand your consciousness. Feel empathy for your consciousness. Perhaps if you are hurting or you feel pain, your consciousness almost folds over the wound, the emotional wound. So gently, by the hand, take your consciousness and lead it away from internal thought out to listening. Now allow yourself time, moments to become aware of senses, of all your senses. Sound aroma, smell, the ambience of the environment around you. Are you warm? Are you cold? How do you feel? How does the external environment affect your physical self? What do you have wrapped around you? How do your clothes feel upon your body? How does your body feel resting upon your bed? Or perhaps a chair? Or perhaps the floor? How does the bed feel around your body? Now start to become aware of your physical being your physical awareness. How does your body feel? What are the senses within your body? What can you feel? Can you feel your heart beat? Where is your presence at the moment? Is it drawn to your hands, your face, your throat? Are there any areas of your body that hold more stress than others? Just notice, just simply notice. It's not about having a judgment 
about how your body feels. It's about the noticing. The noticing is important because it's about observing as a third person rather than being inside attached to your body judging how you feel. You are the external self looking down upon your body. You are the external self noticing the environment around you, the external environment. You are the external self noticing senses, sounds, feelings, textures around you. The art of noticing is a practice and the more you practice, the more you have the ability to develop perspective. With perspective comes wisdom, with perspective comes contentment and with perspective comes happiness because we pull ourselves out of being passionately attached to that experience in time and we see it with perspective. The second stage of this yoga meditation. Start to take your consciousness within you, within your inner self, within your deeper consciousness, within your heart, within your inner spirit, and discover security, discover safety, discover sanctity within yourself. Find that place within you where you feel calm, where you feel love, where you feel safe. Now there are times when this is quite challenging and you may say to yourself, I just can't do this at the moment. Meditation is not about finding a light switch, it's a process of acceptance. So if you are struggling, that's okay. Say to your inner self, I know you're struggling at this time and that's okay. Whatever state you're in, it's just okay. Within the okayness of your state, find a corner or a place of sanctity. Not bliss, not euphoria, not the complete answer, just a place of comfort. If you struggle to find this place of comfort and safety within your inner self, imagine a comfortable item. It might be a comfortable chair, or a comfortable pillow, or a comfortable toy. And imagine yourself relating to this comfortable object. So imagine yourself sitting in the comfortable chair. Imagine yourself holding on to the comfortable pillow. Or imagine yourself hugging the comfortable comfort toy. A teddy bear, a rabbit, a beautiful, fluffy, comfortable toy. And sit in this experience of comfort. Remember, an experience of comfort is exactly that. It's not blissful or euphoric. So it's quite accessible when you're suffering. When we're suffering, it's not a big step to find comfort. It might be a big step to find contentment, but comfort is much more accessible. Find the place of comfort and okayness within you and sit in this space for several breaths. Sit 
Stage three, body awareness. Once you have sat in that place of comfort, that place of okayness, that place of safety with acceptance, remember this is a space that is not a light switch moment of contentment. This is a place of calm acceptance. Once you've reached this space, then take your conscious focus to your physical self, your body. Focus upon your body. Focus upon how you physically feel. And as you do so, breathe. Breathing is part of your body and breathing is the amazing connection between consciousness and our physical self. So notice your pattern of breathing and notice your physical self. And remember the noticing is a third person practice. You are almost looking down upon yourself. So there is an element of detachment. You are not judging how you feel. You are not deciding how you feel. You are noticing. You are the noticer. And that is your role here, to notice, to observe, to look down upon. Notice if you find the practice of focusing upon body awareness difficult or not so difficult. Now if you find this practice difficult or challenging at this time, that's okay. And sit in the feeling of that's okay. You may find it easy at this time to have body awareness and that's okay too. Just the fact that you are here now focusing on self-love, on self-exploration and on your sleep, that is what is precious and vital at this moment in this being. Notice different parts of your body and then bring the focus to your entire body and then take the focus back out to parts of your body and then to the entire body. So the focus of the mind is switching from hand to body to heart space to body to jaw to body to feet to body to base of the spine to body to throat space to body to solar plexus at the base of the rib cage to body to upper legs to the entire body so you are switching from parts to the entirety of your physical self to parts fingers to the entirety of the body the area around your ears to your entire physical self the area around your nose to your complete, wholesome body. 
Take time with this exercise. Experience it, explore it and find it satisfying. The switching. Arms. Body. Legs. Body. Throat. Body. Spine. Body. Shoulders. Body. Soles of your feet. Body. Navel. Body. And as you do so, consider the pattern of your breathing. Your breathing may have slowed down by this time. Notice, notice the pattern of your breathing without attachment. Accept the state of your body. Accept the pattern of your breathing. Accept that some parts of your body may hold more stress than other parts of your body. Body awareness. Stage three, the awareness of breath. Bring your awareness to your pattern of breathing, to the action of breathing, to the practice of breathing, to the being, the doing, to the behaving of breathing in through the nose and back out through the nose, in through the nose. and back out through the nose. Follow the journey of the breath into the nostrils, down into the lungs, back out through the nostrils, and the cycle begins again. Imagine that you are the breath, that your entire being is simply the breath, nothing else, you are the breath. Notice the connection of the breath to the world around you to the universe around you. So you become the universal breath, no longer the breath of the body. You are the breath of the universe. Take a moment to think about the breath moving around the universe and each living thing sharing the cycle of breath. Feel the life force, the prana of breath. Now in your mind's eye, I'd like you to count 10 breaths, slowly inhale and exhale is one breath, counting 10 breaths from 10 
to one. Sit in the awareness of your breath. Be in the awareness of universal breath. In the next stage, we are going to focus upon feelings. Without attachment, without opinion, without values, without ego, notice your feelings. Try here not to change anything, so if your feelings are negative, that's cool, that's okay. Accept your feelings for what they are at this time. By accepting the feelings as they are, in their raw entirety, we can grow in wisdom. Sometimes meditation focuses upon simply positive feelings. Negative feelings serve a purpose and help us to heal, can help us to grow, can help us to learn and review. And there are times, times to sit in negative feelings, notice them and to ask the question, what do I learn? What is the gift in these feelings at this moment? What do these feelings say about who I am and where I am in my journey today, at this moment, right now? How am I using these feelings? What are these feelings bringing to my enlightenment? Do these feelings serve my greater purpose? Do they hold me back? Do they help me to unpack my inner self? Do these feelings benefit others? Do these feelings help me learn about myself so that I can go back to the greater community and love with greater empathy. Notice how you feel and then imagine the opposite feeling. So whatever feeling you have, imagine the opposite so that you are switching between positive and negative and positive and negative. Explore both sides, the entire spectrum of feeling and by doing so notice how you have the power. You have the power to do so. Negative feelings serve a purpose in our growth. 
by swapping between negative and positive we notice that we can do so and if we can do so we can choose our feelings I understand that this process is not easy but it's infinitely worthwhile and valuable Let's take several cycles of breath now to notice and be with opposing feelings positive and negative happy sad frustrated calm energetic quiet angry at peace now focus if you can and whatever comes up is okay focus on the balance the ability to balance between negative and positive and across the spectrum of feeling work towards the balance if you do not achieve a balance that's okay as well and just notice notice where you are if you notice a specific feeling just just be aware just sit with that feeling what does it teach you about who you are where you are in your journey were you aware fully aware that you had this feeling are you fully aware of this feeling or are there elements of denial elements of distraction elements of avoidance it's all okay it's all human and part of the evolution of our souls it's okay forgive yourself tolerate yourself be with yourself not an image a projection of yourself that someone else or the community may give you your true authentic self stage five be the witness the watcher the watching stage bring your awareness to your breath and watch see thoughts images or memories that may come up so it's like you are watching a movie there is a movie screen in front of you and images flash across this movie screen but not just images these images hold feelings perceptions values and learnings watch the movie screen what can you see flash across the screen now remember these images are upon a screen beyond you they are not within you your mind may project the images the memories upon the screen but they are not within you you project them upon the screen the movie screen of your soul of your unconscious and these projections affect your greater collective unconsciousness your bond to the universe your bond to others your bond to humanity
You may see beliefs, values, philosophies, opinions flash across the movie screen in front of you. Just look at them and notice them. It's important that we feel a level of detachment for the memories, the beliefs, the philosophies we have. So if you feel a strong attachment to anything that flashes in front of you, there is a learning there. Ultimately, we project upon the screen of life. Our journey towards enlightenment requires that there are no deep attachments to these memories or beliefs. And of course, this is a process. Now, as you see these images, these beliefs, these memories, I want you to imagine the opposite. So if you see a painful memory, then imagine and flash with your projector of your consciousness, flash a happy memory. If you have a strong negative belief, then explore and project a positive belief. A painful memory, a positive memory. A judgment to a detachment. Explore the opposites and switch in between them, finding balance, if you can. And if you find you don't achieve balance, notice that as the watcher. Watch the movie screen of your life externally away from you. Know that it comes from your heart, from your spirit, but you choose what to project and you can reach into the recesses of your consciousness to find the balance, the contrast between positive and negative. It all serves a purpose if there's balance. Finally, finding happiness, the final stage. Exploring and being with happiness. finding our spiritual grounding, our deep inner true self. In this stage, imagine a memory that brings you a gentle happiness. So it's a memory like a picnic or a birthday or a Christmas or a walk along the beach. It's a gentle memory. A memory that brings a gentle smile to your face and gentle feelings. Soft thoughts and quiet beliefs. Imagine and be with this memory, an accepting, gentle, soft memory like waves in the ocean, rhythmic, calm waves, repetitive, gentle waves upon the shore. Stay with this memory. Linger with this memory, be with this memory. The softness, the quietness, the okayness 
of this memory. I want you to think of every detail of this memory and be with every detail. How does the memory smell? What are the textures? What can be touched in this memory? How does your physical self feel with this memory? Really explore this memory, this pleasant, gentle, pleasing memory, a satisfying memory. Imagine all details of this pleasing memory. Breathe slowly. In the final stage, we reflect. We reflect upon this practice. Within this practice is a cleansing, a balance, an experience and exploration of contrast and the value of contrast and what we learn from contrast. We learn that life is not about bliss or happiness or everything being right. There is left and right and up and down, happiness and sadness. frustration and contentment, knowledge and ignorance, successes and mistakes. And that's okay. It's all okay. It's all okay, the black and white, the up and down. The processes of life, the journey of life, the achievements and the losses. It's okay, you're okay. Feel gentle, feel acceptance. And reflect upon this experience. Within our mind we can always reach in and find a positive for every negative. We may need to reach, we may need to explore, but we can do this, we can find balance. Breathe slowly now, slow your breathing down if you can. Notice your physical self. Feel the intention of relaxation, the conscious intention to find contrast and to find a sense of peace to find that sense of safety within yourself. To find that sense of inner knowledge, inner peace within yourself so that you can become awakened and go back out to serve the community. For now, the time is a focus upon inner reflection, inner being, inner peace, calm, tranquility, contentment, and acceptance for what is. Meditation is not about finding the perfect moment of stillness. It is about meditating with what is. The meditation we have now is the meditation we have now and that's okay. 
and that's okay, and that's okay. Relax now, and that's okay, and that's okay. 